Tomato in midfield. Sasso up towards halfway, slips it down the line for Liam Palmer. Back to Sasso again on the right-hand side. Now just stroked into the defence here for Turner. His ball over towards Bennett on the left, wearing 12 is Joe Bennett. Now here's Lewis McGugan, another player we've not seen for a while in a Wednesday shirt, least starting. McGugan wearing number 10. Here he is again in the orange boots, he will move it forward. Finds Gary Hooper, back to goal, slips it back to Jose Semedo. Semedo works it over towards Vincent Sasso again. And now here's Palmer once more on the right touch line. Midway inside the Shrewsbury half, slips it back to Jose Semedo once more. Now Hooper, Hooper plays a 1-2 with Sugu, good football from Wednesday. Semedo now, coming forward, just slips it down the line to Palmer, back to Semedo. Great football from Wednesday, cross comes in. Headed away by Whitbread as far as Lewis McGugan, who may have a shot here, he will! Good strike! Absolutely hammered that one and just over the bar, but great football to set up the chance, John. Yeah, it's great build-up play, good confident passing from Wednesday, good crossing from Semedo, diving header out by the Shrewsbury centre-half, and McGugan picks it up, he's about 25 yards and a half volley, it's just slightly rising, just goes over the top. It's gone down the right channel. So may just stretch Wednesday a bit here with Sasso force wide. Not a lot of support for the Shrewsbury man on that far left. They have kept it nicely, though, on the edge of the box. Now slipped into the edge of the area and driven in. And it is well, well wide. And one or two people getting excited about that move, John, but it was no real threat to Wednesday. No, but that's probably the first time that Shrewsbury have put three or four passes together and the ball get, ends up in our half. Joe Wildsmith jumped out of the pike, didn't he? I mean, Louis Price was probably bought as uh, understudy to uh, Kieran. But uh, Joe's jumped ahead in, in, that, queue, in that queue and uh, you know, played really, really well for us so far this season. Here's Turner, now McGugan for Sheffield Wednesday. Here's Bennett wearing 12. Nice ball inside to Mateusz. Now here's McGugan, good football from Sheffield Wednesday. Mm. McGugan's ball in, just couldn't find Muru Sugu, but that was incisive. Yeah. One touch passing again, John, and it almost carved. Yeah, Shrewsbury terrific up. passing. McGugan heavily involved. Here's Grimmer with the throw in. Tosses that one up towards uh, Akpar Akpro, who's battling with Bennett. Grimmer takes the throw again to the edge of the box. Mangan goes down, but he's not fouled there. Here's Mateusz coming forward, wearing number seven. Has got Ooh. past his man, he's taken out there by Whitbread. That'll be a free kick, John, on the edge yeah. of the box. Yeah, that's a definite free kick. The referee, to be fair to him, was spot on. He was only a couple of yards behind. I thought he'd just pushed it a little bit too far there, Matthias, but uh, in came the Shrewsbury player, brought him down. Now the referee's moved the ball back <laughs> another five yards or so. It's a Wednesday's disadvantage. I'm not sure they'll go for the shot now. Oh, it's, a, it's a good 35, 40 yards out. I think wind against, possibly. McGugan standing it. over it. Yeah. Yeah. You just never know in conditions like this. If you can hit it right, the wind might just take it away from the keeper, Lutweiler, who's wearing a protective mask today. Here is McGugan, curls it in, and it's oh! gone straight in. It is Lewis it McGugan who's curled it straight <laughs> into the goal. It is reminiscent of his goal against Blackpool on the road last season. It has beaten everybody, including the goalkeeper. And Sheffield Wednesday have the lead 90 minutes in. Shrewsbury nil, Wednesday 1. Excellent free kick, and as you said, exactly the same as the one he got at Blackpool. Turner causing problems. You know, if, if he if it hadn't have gone in, he, he was possibly going to get his head to it. A bit here. Well, it will, and hopefully it might, it, uh, you know, it might make Shrewsbury come out a little bit more. You know, they're reluctant to come out and they, like, they've strung that five across the back which is protected by another three that's a good ball, ball in towards Sugu here and he is going to get there and he shoots towards goal and it's come off the shins of Lutweiler and it is cleared away by Shrewsbury now but Wednesday playing with a lot of confidence that I don't know he's still content with that five at the back that's a lovely flick by Jao should be a free kick and it is yeah, Matthias. Matthias going down yeah. and this will be the first yellow card of the game for Jack Grimmer and it's in a position job, which yeah. is fairly similar to yeah. where the goal was. So maybe uh, McGugan will go for another one of these free kicks now. I'm sure he will. You know, uh, this is probably more like the Blackpool. The, the, the first one was a it was the same free kick, but it was a little bit further in, whereas this one's a little bit wider. So uh, I think it'll be more of a cross. But I'm sure he's going to put that uh, bend on it and aim for that far post. Because we like to give you all of the detail here on BBC Radio Sheffield, that the technique of the magic spray from Paul Tierney is to put a, a single blob down for where the ball is 
and the longest white line you'll see this season for where the <laughs> wall needs to be. But here is McGugan with a chance to make it two, perhaps. Whips it in dangerously oh. again. I think it was Hooper who got the touch. Little back heel from Gary Hooper and over the bar jump. Yeah, please. yeah, yeah. I think everybody had got in before. I think McGugan wanted to put the ball in before the players. Hooper's had to turn. He's got his back to goal. And he just tried a little flick with the outside of his foot. Ball over the top for Sugu. Headed clear by Shrewsbury. Now Mateusz and Hooper. Nice touch from Hooper in towards João. Now Semedo. Semedo will look for Liam Palmer. Here is Liam Palmer, the fullback. Shrewsbury very deep at the moment. Cross comes in towards João. Headed away. It's been a great time for Wednesday to get a second here. Here's Gary Hooper to Mateus. It's Mateus with a shot. And it's powered away by Luck Violet. It was a good save, and he managed to push it away from Lucas Schwau enough so that the big Portuguese striker couldn't get the rebound, John. Yeah, it's a good save. Just seen a signal from Lee Bullen to Atinuiu to get ready because he's coming on in five minutes. Cross comes in, Arsenal 2, Burnley 1 in the FA Cup. Could it be a rematch with Arsenal in the next round for Sheffield Wednesday? Ball over the top. He's got pace. So has player. to retreat. Mangan's going to get there first. Needs a bit of support. There are two in the box. It's crossed in. Real chance, and it's there. And it is Jean Louis Agpar Acro who will equalise for Shrewsbury. Mangan got in behind. Perfect cross. And the perfect header from Agpar Acro. Wednesday with work to do here. Shrewsbury 1, Sheffield Wednesday 1. Now Cole. Back to Mangan again. Good tackle from Semedo. Will win it back for Sheffield Wednesday on the edge of his own box. Now here's Mateusz. Mateusz finds Semedo, who's darting on. He doesn't score many, but could get into a good attacking position here, Semedo. He's still going. He's beaten one. It's Semedo. Oh. It is saved by the keeper. Well, it was a run more yeah, reminiscent yeah. <laughs> of his best friend, Cristiano Ronaldo there, John Pearson. Yeah. He almost scored a wonder goal. Full-length save from the Shrewsbury keeper. Semedo's picked that ball up on the halfway line. Here's Semedo. Little shimmy from Jose Semedo though. Probably fancies another run now that he's uh, had that running shot a moment ago. They're taking everybody on. Here's Bennett. Good ball down the line, just intercepted. Well read in fairness by Grimmer. Yeah, he did read it well. And Shrewsbury will look to clear this one away. Dangerous, living dangerously on the edge of their own box though. Passing it around, the goalkeeper slipped as he cleared. But he has got it away up towards Michael Turner. He's offside. And now at Park Pro, well he looks offside but the flag stayed down. And he's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, Agpro, and Price does just enough to keep it out. It was trickling towards the line, and Sasso will I, clear for a throw in, but he looked well offside, John. I, I just took that for granted, he's at least two or three yards off. Now McGugan, over towards Palmer, Palmer to Wallace, Wallace round the corner to Joao, now here's Wallace again. Wallace in towards Joao. And now here's McGugan. McGugan edge of the box. Wednesday threatening again. Here's Wallace on the right hand side. Wallace will take on his man. Cuts in. Steps back on the outside now here. Ross Wallace crosses blocked. And Shrewsbury will have it inside their own penalty area. It's clear, but only as far as McGugan. McGugan shoots! Oh! Oh, what a goal! It is Lewis McGugan for Sheffield Wednesday that may well book their place in the fifth round of the FA Cup. We had a great view of it here as McGugan hammers that into the bottom corner, his second of the game. And Lewis McGugan might just be helping Wednesday progress in the FA Cup. Shrewsbury 1, Sheffield Wednesday 2, 2 for Lewis McGugan. Looking for it, Nuiu races towards the taker. We'll get there, does Ati Nuiu, and it doesn't control. Here's Turner's header straight to Mangan, two against two. Mangan with that Porat Pro with him, good ball into the wards, the Shrewsbury goal That's scorer, a it's a penalty. Sasso brings down Louis at Porat Pro. And this time Wednesday will not be so lucky, it will be a penalty. Sasso has given the spot kick away. So Jean-Louis at Porat Pro got Shrewsbury back into it earlier. He steps forward and Price has saved it! And the rebound is hammered in by so Price makes the save, but then Mangan with a follow-up will make it 2-2. Wednesday's defence slow to react. Mangan goes sprinting off to the far side and celebrates like he's won the FA Cup. 
but it has tied things up at two apiece. Shrewsbury two, Sheffield Wednesday two. Putting a bet on it, you'd say that, that was it now. Wednesday will hit it long. Here is McGugan over towards Palmer. They've got to get bodies in the box here for Palmer's cross. It is high, it's hanging towards Newyu. Here is Lucas Schwau. That could easily be a penalty for the challenge on Newyu, but nothing given. Instead, it's McGugan's shot deflected. It's a corner. That was a penalty. That was a penalty. Well, Carlos Cavalli, I'm not happy in the slightest. Neither are his staff. Not often. Corner comes in from the right, and Joao is beaten to the ball. We've pretty much had the six minutes. This one will go back to Liam Palmer. Wednesday, they've got to get it in the box. Palmer up towards Newyu. Newyu's header. Can't find Turner. Shrewsbury clear. Is there time to get it back in there again? Wednesday have headed it straight break. to Shrewsbury. And here come the home side. The last chance, surely. It is Vernon on the left. There are bodies in the box. It is Scott Vernon driving towards the goal. He's still going and it's in there. It's there. They have won it with the last kick of the game. And Shrewsbury score through Grimmer. It is Vernon's cross. It is Grimmer's header. And that will knock Sheffield Wednesday out of the FA Cup. Grimmer has won it. It is Shrewsbury three. Sheffield Wednesday two. It's in a moment. But it looks as if Rotherham and Wednesday will be beaten today. And Barnsley will be the only local winners who've got used to saying that in recent weeks as the ball chipped up and Shrewsbury go through. The team that lost 7-1 at Chesterfield have now beaten both Sheffield sides, scoring seven goals in the process. And they continue their unlikely cup run. It is Grimmer who gets the winning goal as the Wednesday players surround the match officials, John. That will be the big talking point after the game as Carlos Cavallio goes across.